the shadow of the pyramids near Cairo, Egypt, in the heart of the Muslim world, the leaders of China, Great Britain, and the United States meet face to face for the first time. President Roosevelt, Prime Minister Churchill, and Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek, united in the war against the Empire of Japan. Madam Chiang Kai-shek is here as advisor and interpreter to her husband. commands of the United Nations powers mapping the blows that will strip Japan of the vast empire gained through 50 years of terror and aggression. Three great allies pledged to a common cause, the unconditional surrender of Japan. To Tehran, capital of Iran, the conferences move. Here, 6,000 miles from Washington, 2,700 miles from London, and 1,500 miles from Moscow, the President and Prime Minister meet their great ally in the war against Nazi Germany, Marshal Joseph Stalin, Premier of Soviet Russia. The dramatic conference for which the world has watched and waited, Roosevelt, Stalin and Churchill, climaxing a series of meetings that began with the Atlantic Charter and carried on through Casablanca and Moscow. Diplomatic representatives of the three nations are present. Molotov, Eden, Harriman. Mr. Churchill's daughter, Sarah, an officer in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, is introduced to Premier Stalin by President Roosevelt. dramatic ceremony highlights the meeting, the presentation of the sword of Stalingrad, gift of Britain's king to the people of that heroic city. Marshal Stalin accepts the tribute on behalf of the Russian people. Backed by the greatest concentration of military power in history, the Tehran Conference broadcasts its official communique to the world. We, the President of the United States of America, the Prime Minister of Great Britain, and the Premier of the Soviet Union, have met and expressed our determination that our nation shall work together in the war and in the peace that will follow. The common understanding which we have here reached guarantees that victory will be ours. We came here with hope and determination. We leave here friends in fact, in spirit, and in purpose.